Hi there, my name is Jason Freire from Homicide Fire and Rescue Service and uh, I wanted to talk to you today around water safety. So within the Fire and Rescue Service we have a mission statement and that is safe for communities, safe for firefighters. Why is it important that we talk around water safety? Well these are the reasons. So Homicide Fire and Rescue Service have a significant length of coast and numerous inland rivers and lakes. Nationally we hear reports that one in three people aged between, or one in three um, children aged between 10 and 16 currently cannot swim. Quite a worrying statistic uh, when we think that the age range makes up the high, this age range of 10 to 16 makes up the highest percentage of drownage we see in the UK. And we're finding that, that number is on the rise. Let alone recently within Humberside Fire and Rescue Service, um, a teenager lost his life within the last 12 months. And this is something we want to try and avoid if we possibly can. So what are the dangers within such open water? So cold water shock is one of the biggest dangers that we find in open water. Uh, anything below 15 degrees Celsius is defined as cold water. And in the summer months, as it is today, the, the air temperature is, is, is quite high, but the water temperature within a few meters down can be significantly lower. Now, Gavin's entered the water here today with a thermometer. Um, Gavin, what's the water temperature now? It's currently 13 degrees. It's currently 13 degrees. Gavin's three meters out, and that's around about a meter and a half down. So you can see significantly the water temperature changes the deeper we go. And obviously, the further out into the water, the colder that, that is going to get. So when we look at what that, that feels like, if we think of a cold shower at home, when we turn our shower all the way to cold, it's around about 13 degrees. Now that kind of takes your breath away. In open water, when, you, when you're into open water and you're getting into those cold temperatures, you can actually start to vamp, uh, hyperventilate, which means you're gonna have some breathing difficulties and also movement difficulties. And that's even for the strongest of swimmers within us. So cold water shock is a real, real issue uh, within swimming within open water. Now. As well, we've got hidden dangers. We can't see what's underneath the water. Now, underneath that water, there may be debris such as um, branches, uh, shopping trolleys, uh, all kind of manner of things, hidden dangers underneath there. There may also be some hidden currents underneath the water as well, from drainage um, and, and underground springs and things, underwater springs and things like that. So it's really important that we're aware of some of those dangers. And one of the biggest dangers that we find is that the water drops off dramatically deep within a, small, a, few, a few meters. And Gavin's gonna go into the water now with his wading pole and his correct uh, kit to enter into the water. And he's gonna demonstrate just how that water depth quickly tails off. And before he knows it, Gavin is going to be out of depth. Gavin, you out of depth there now? I'm out of depth there now. Gavin is out of depth there now. He can safely swim back to the shore. But that's only around about three to four metres out and he's already out of his depth in significantly colder water. Okay, when it's warm, it's really tempting to get into the water. And we've seen an increase recently in people doing that. And, and, and as we've just talked about, this proved fatal last year. But you must only swim in safe, designated and supervised areas. Really important that. If you want any more information, please log on to the Humberside Fire and Rescue Service website for more information. This will give you information around things if someone gets into trouble, uh, operating, being safe around water, these messages are delivered in partnership with the RNLI and also with the Royal Life Saving Society, key partners that we use.